Sometimes we need to convert our arrays into clusters of equivalent same data type. In this video, we will see how we can do it programmatically using LabVIEW's built-in function to help us in doing that. So to convert arrays to cluster programmatically, let's create a, a new VI. Let's save it. Let's call it array to cluster. in lab view let's create an array of let's say numbers let's initialize a few elements and let's go to the block diagram now the function that can convert this array into an equivalent cluster is called array to cluster function. Let's connect it. This function is polymorphic, meaning that it can adapt to the type of array that you are converting to it. Right click on its output and let's create an indicator. So let's go and run it to see how it works. So our array is now converted to this cluster having the same data elements that were present in the array. Notice that the number of elements in this cluster are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, six seven eight and nine by default so how can we change it let's go to the block diagram right click this function and array size option is available let's click it and by default the size of the array is set to nine since we had four elements let's change it let's say okay and now our cluster is broken why because we are sending it a cluster of four, but the input is a cluster of nine. Let's delete it and recreate it. Let's run it. And there are, uh, there we have our um, cluster. So if the output cluster is larger than the input array then the output cluster has the values of extra elements is the default data type in numerics that is zero so what happens if we set this cluster to a smaller size let's set it to let's say two input array has four elements and we have specified that we want a cluster of two elements let's go and see what happened in that case in that case as expected and logically that the uh, only the first two elements are stored and the rest are discarded so this is how we can uh, use this function for creating an array into cluster and before I conclude 
uh, one more thing that you cannot use uh, this function uh, when the VI is running since you need to create a cluster of appropriate size by connecting it to a an indicator which can only be done when you are designing your VI and not while it is running. Hope this helped you in your programming career. Um, thanks for watching.